Imagine you're walking through a dusty desert or a rocky hillside. You spot a dull, round stone sitting quietly in the dirt. It looks ordinary, gray, rough, maybe even ugly. You pick it up and it's surprisingly light for its size. You take a hammer, crack it open, and suddenly, light explodes before your eyes. Inside, hidden for millions of years, lies a world of glittering crystals, gleaming like stars trapped in stone. That, my friend, is a geode, one of nature's most breathtaking secrets. But what exactly is a geode? How does something so plain outside become a palace of gems within? Stay with me, because today, we're going deep inside the Earth's hidden chambers to uncover how geodes form, where to find them, and how to know when that dull rock might just hold a secret worth millions. One, the hidden mystery beneath the surface. At first glance, a geode doesn't look like anything special. It's usually round, egg-shaped, or lumpy, covered in a dull, weathered crust. To most people, it's just another rock. But inside lies a hidden story that began millions of years ago, deep underground, within the heart of volcanic landscapes or ancient riverbeds. Every geode starts as a void, a hollow space inside a rock. That empty pocket could be the remains of a gas bubble inside lava, or the space left by organic material that dissolved away over time. Slowly, mineral-rich water begins to seep in through tiny cracks, carrying dissolved elements like quartz, calcite, or amethyst. Then drop by drop, crystal by crystal, the magic begins. Two, the birth of a geode, nature's slow art. The process of forming a geode is one of the most delicate dances in geology. Imagine volcanic lava cooling after a violent eruption. Gas bubbles get trapped inside the molten rock, leaving behind tiny pockets of air. Later, when rainwater or groundwater flows through the surrounding rock, it carries dissolved minerals into those empty chambers. Every drop of that mineral water deposits a thin layer of crystal on the inside surface. Over thousands or even millions of years, those layers grow inward, forming brilliant geometric structures. The result? A stone that's plain outside, but magnificent inside. No two geodes are ever alike. Some grow amethyst, others form quartz or calcite, depending on what minerals were present in the water. Three, the great geode deception. Why they look ordinary. Most geodes look completely unremarkable. They have dull, rough, chalky exteriors, often mistaken for ordinary river stones or volcanic rocks. That's because over millions of years, wind, water, and erosion wear away their outer layers. But the real magic lies inside, a secret no one would guess just by looking at it. That's why prospectors and rockhounds spend entire days scanning barren deserts or ancient stream beds, searching for these deceptive treasures. The rule is simple. Never judge a stone by its cover, because the ugliest rock on the ground might just hide a universe of crystals within. Four, where to find geodes, nature's secret hotspots. The best places to find geodes are areas with ancient volcanic activity or sedimentary rock layers that once held mineral-rich water. Deserts like those in Utah, Nevada, and Arizona are world-famous for geodes. In Ethiopia, Kenya, and Morocco, geodes form inside volcanic basalts, creating deep purple amethysts and shimmering quartz crystals. Rivers and dry creek beds are another great place to search. As erosion breaks apart old rock layers, geodes are carried downstream and collect in sandy deposits. Look for rounded, lightweight stones with a slightly rough or pitted texture. Tap them gently. A hollow sound could mean there's a secret crystal chamber inside. Five, the science behind the sparkle. So why do geodes sparkle so beautifully inside? The answer lies in the geometry of crystals. When mineral-rich water evaporates slowly inside the cavity, it leaves behind perfectly structured crystals that grow toward the center. Quartz and amethyst are the most common, forming six-sided prisms that catch and reflect light. Calcite and celestite can create bright, glassy structures that shimmer like ice. The smoother the crystal surfaces, the more light they reflect, producing that stunning inner glow that makes geodes look almost alive. Six, the colors of a hidden universe. Not all geodes are purple like amethyst. 
Their colors depend on the minerals that built them. Iron gives red or brown hues. Manganese creates pinks and purples. Copper paints greens and blues. Each geode is a masterpiece of color created by random chance and natural chemistry. Some contain layers of agate with swirling bands. Others hold druzy quartz, tiny glittering crystals that shimmer like frost. A few even hide rare minerals like celestine or barite, glowing pale blue or silver. Every geode tells a story written in color and light. 7. Cracking open a mystery. When rock hunters find potential geodes, they face a thrilling moment, the crack test. With a hammer and protective goggles, they gently split the stone open to reveal what's hidden inside. Sometimes it's solid all the way through. Other times the inside is hollow, lined with sparkling crystals. The first glimpse inside a geode is always breathtaking. It's like uncovering a piece of the Earth's soul. Eight, giant geodes, Earth's natural cathedrals. While most geodes fit in your hand, some are massive. The Pulpi geode in Spain, for example, is so large you can walk inside it. Its crystal walls shimmer like frozen light. Another, the crystal cave in Naca, Mexico, contains selenite crystals so huge they could crush a car. These colossal formations remind us that what looks like solid rock can hide worlds of impossible beauty within. When light touches these crystals, they reflect millions of years of Earth's history, frozen in pure mineral form. 9. How to tell a geode from an ordinary rock. If you're out searching for geodes, here's what to look for. A dull, round, or egg-shaped stone, a rough outer surface, maybe with a few small pits, a surprisingly light weight, and sometimes, if you shake it gently, you might even hear a faint rattle inside from loose crystals. Use a rock hammer to carefully chip a small edge. If you see a glint of crystal inside, you've struck treasure. And remember, some geodes are filled completely with solid minerals, making them heavy and colorful, even without hollow centers. Those are called nodules, the same family, just with no empty space left. 10. The meaning and magic of geodes. Beyond their beauty, geodes have always held spiritual meaning. Ancient cultures believed they were symbols of hidden wisdom, proof that the greatest treasures lie within. In modern times, geodes are used in meditation, healing, and energy practices. People place them in homes to attract calmness, creativity, or good fortune. Whether you believe in their energy or just admire their natural wonder, there's no denying they remind us of something powerful. That beauty often hides beneath roughness, waiting to be discovered. Each geode is a lesson in patience, formed slowly, revealed suddenly. So next time you walk by a dull, dusty rock, stop for a moment, look closer. That unremarkable stone might be a secret world in disguise, its crystals growing silently for millions of years, waiting for someone like you to reveal them. Because geodes aren't just rocks, they're time capsules of the Earth's imagination. And if you ever crack one open, remember, you're not just looking at crystals. You're holding a miracle that began long before humans ever walked the Earth.